either you've probably you probably know that may 25th is africa's day and if you know that or you didn't you might have come across in social media with messages of congratulations africa we are excited we are celebrating this day and so forth and you'll see messages similar to these from companies corporations organ international organization and even your own government perhaps or if you're african like me you might have seen a message like this from your own government your african government and i wish i could share with this enthusiasm but unfortunately there is much more to reflect in a day like this than to just celebrate my name is lunta di la paulo and i'd like to share with you some of my reflections around this day and i want to direct my message to four primary groups and the first group that i want to talk to is corporations and multinationals in a day like this instead of sharing message of congratulations africa we are excited for you africa we hope for better days in africa it's actually a day that corporations should be taking deciding to take actions about stopping to source product or raw materials that was produced using child labor for example it's a day that corporation management board of directors should rethink their strategy and efforts in the continent it's a day that corporations should decide to no longer participate in bribing local leaders local government to gain access to raw materials it's a day like this that corporations should decide to become part of the development of the continent not in it in theory not for the sake of pr but for the sake of humanity and my second message is directed to the international community in a day like this instead of sending messages to our african leader telling them great job congratulations it's a day that the international community should actually remind our leaders of the promise they made at independence when they were running for office and it's the day that the international community should not so much tell them you are doing a great job rather it's a day that it should lead to conversation to reflection into how much has been done and now much needs to be done and my third message is to our african leaders as an angolan as an african my message is to the leaders the governors to the presidents to those who lead our nation and tell you more than a legacy you are leaving behind it's countless life that your decisions impact and your indecision also impact and my message to you is instead of backing up your friends who oppress their people it's a time to stand up to your fellow president fellow prime ministers fellow governors and have that conversation and remind one another of the responsibility that your office calls you upon and my last message is for our fellow africans to remind us that change will come when you and i start having the conversation about what our past was what our present is and where we want to move forward and i would encourage my fellow african to ask questions to question to not only accept the reality as it is but to look at what reality could be and to this i say that there is nothing to be excited about in a day like this in the midst of a pandemic like this covid-19 many 
millions of millions, hundreds of millions of our fellow Africans have no access to clean water, no access to electricity, no access for food, and there is a growing number of our fellow Africans who join the ranks of food insecurity and living below poverty line. It's a day for reflection. And it's not a day for PR campaigns. It's not a day for sharing on social media how proud and excited we are as Africans. It's a day to have conversations, serious conversations. And I hope my message to you will trigger something in you to start these conversations. Thank you.